First, we beat these losers. Then, we swap demon dad stories. We should hang sometime. Telepathically. Ooh, I gotta learn some of that dark dimension stuff. Wait till I tell the others about this. New game modes, new characters, new maps, new skins, events. Yeah, oh, 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 we got a lot to talk about, and we ain't gonna waste any time. Let's dive right in. We've been waiting for this right here. And this design for Raven is sick. Now, come on, talk to me. Yeah, we don't care about that Beetlejuice. I don't scare easy. Oh, she's got a dive gig. Oh! Booyah. She has a what? <laughs> they gave her Black's Kamehameha. Oh, okay, bro. Stop slipping around and hold still. Oh, nah. I'm liking what I'm seeing. I respect that. I'm glad you respect that, ma'am. Not bad. I'm sorry. Did you see those skins? We got schoolgirl Raven and we got all white Raven. Oh. <laughs> Apocalypse War, Superman, dude. Anti projectile care? Oh, my. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Nah, no, I've seen that animation before. No, right, we got to rewind back and look at a couple. So, like big black capes, right? I don't really do celebrating, but yay. I swear if anybody in the comments points out the big black cape is BBC, I'm, we're fighting. I just want you to know that. Listen, I told you I've seen this before. This is Injustice Sky Pillar or her tutu pop-up string. Like the tutu, it looks like the same animation side by side. I remember this. I've been waiting for Raven for a long time because they didn't even put her in Injustice 2. So I I've been salivating for a while, fam. Because as you can see, the Azeroth Metreon Zinthos muscle memory is still there. I'm still cooking. And speaking of cooking, chat, look at the look at the skins, bro. Look at this. Got the nice little rocker jacket over the crop top. Then you got the little fishnet top underneath that, rocking a skirt, and you got the Converse's? Come on, bro, that's a fit. She got that stuff on for real. So the art team, hey, great job. Clap it up. Great, great job. You cook it. Raven cosplayers are going to give plenty of people the sweats in the coming months. Rest assured. And then they follow it up with pure white Raven. They followed it up with the juice. Nah, we're here, bro. We're here. We're our team cooked. But let's get to the real meat and potatoes. Let's get to the real meat and potatoes. Like, comment set. What am I looking at? Because these are like puppet combos. This looks like Steven Universe's tether on like Omega Crack. And I suppose it will depend on if these are auto or manually detonated things. But either way, you get good at this and it looks like it could be a kill confirmed. You, this this may be beyond any drug we've ever seen. This might be sniffing straight up aggro crack from Nickelodeon Guts. And I say all that to say, if they're bringing us Raven and they're bringing us Marceline, listen, if there's anything that the internet has taught me, if you want your product to be seen, put golf girls on the screen. Hey, I, it is what it is. I don't make the rules. I just read the rule book. That's all I'm saying. And that finally brings us to the new mode they teased, arena mode. And this is sick. You get rewarded for getting kills. It's like a tournament. You can customize your build with custom skill trees. The more you kill, damage, and dominate the game, the better off you'll be in order to buy new fancy perks and come out with cool custom combo. Like there's a lot here. And this looks sick because you're gonna have 16 players going nutty in a mode that incentivizes you to be good, but at the same time is still filled with so much casual zaniness. And you get the farm prestige points in a game where sometimes things do start to feel stale and this is a great thing to see. And we finally might have a game mode that can appeal to the casual audience, the rookie audience, and the crazy cracked, I'm playing this game 24 7, 365 audience alike. And just looking at some of these perks, look at Punch Your Buns. Imagine Jason teleports behind you in a 2v2 chaotic match, and now that man's doing extra de- Come on, bro. This looks fun. And if you look at the top, it says arena status current round 11, which means these games might run long, which is giving me some MOBA vibes because you're going to be able to get skill trees, power up, etc but I'm worried that if it's gonna have 11 rounds. Rage quitters are gonna be a thing. And like, I would hate to be with a teammate and then my teammate can't play the game cause they're upset and they're mad that they lost at a game. So then they just drop out and now I'm stuck. And you know, 
I feel like that is a caveat to this, but in the bubble of good idea, this is in there. But season four is looking good. They are giving us, you know, a nice little overall picture of what we're going to get. And everything on here looks like a W. Now, Fighter Road, I, I don't know what this is. I, I have no idea what this is. But if it's something that's even just mediocre on top of everything that we're else we're getting in season four, we're cooking. We are, we are moving in what is the right direction. Now, once again, the verdict on shields is still out. Shields are not coming in season four from what it looks like. It's something that may or may not come depending on what user feedback is. But we're going in the right direction either way. So if you liked what you saw so far and you want to see more Multiverses content posted by your boy, make sure you go ahead and click the like and subscribe button so you don't miss any of the awesome content I plan on bringing you. And I will see you guys on the next one.